The challenges of studying SIPs qualifications alongside a full-time day job can certainly test our drive and determination. I'm Sheena Donaldson, a Knowledge Manager at SIPs, and today I'm joined by Michelle Flett, who has recently completed her SIPs studies and now carries her MSIPs chartered status. Michelle, I'm keen to hear more about your SIP studies, how you remained focused throughout, but more than anything, the benefits now available to you and the doors that may have opened since becoming MSIPs chartered. So I'm gonna ask you a little bit about your studies to date um, and, and how you proceeded through that journey. Can I ask, did you self-study throughout, Michelle? No, I studied through a uh, study centre. So I studied through the Sheffield Chambers of Commerce Okay, so how did you find that journey for yourself? Did you have other students um, around you on that journey that you could network with? Yes, we had a lot of different students from different sectors. So we had a lot of students from private sector and public sector, um, which was very interesting. Um, and a diverse range of people um, from age and gender um that that was that was interesting to to know everybody's everybody's journeys i can appreciate where you're coming from um just based on my own uh, studying journey myself and sometimes to have some insight as to what's happening in the public sector when you're heavily in the private sector can be really beneficial when you're sitting your exams did you find that you were able to give cross information to other students that were on the journey as well yes lots of information um because I've worked in, within my sector for a lot of years in manufacturing, I was able to uh, give a lot of my experiences, but then I was able to take quite a lot away from the, definitely the public sector, which I didn't really know anything about. Um, so that was, that was interesting to understand a little bit more about uh, the public sector procurement. Lovely, and how many years have you been actively working in the procurement environment? Um, well, I've been at my current company for 28 years, and I would probably say at least 25 of those have been in the procurement sector in some shape or form. And what was your main motivator then for starting your study journey? Um, the company that I work for uh, decided to um, change some job roles internally and one of the job roles uh, was to be a buyer which needed the MSIPs qualification. Now many many years ago I thought about um, going for the MSIPs qualification but at the time I, I wasn't interested in, um, in studying I think I was more looking at the job that I wanted to do. Um, so when the when this job came up with, with within my organization I thought well could I go for it? Could I do MSIPs? Obviously, I was a little bit older. I'd got two young children working a full-time job. Did I want to do it? Um, so I applied for the job and offered to study if my organisation put me through studying for it. I offered to study and that's what they did. They agreed. Um, and that's what started me on the, the journey for MSIPs. Um, so, Michelle, we've spoken about your journey so far and um, going through some of your studies, interacting with public sector uh, students as well. And obviously that you've been able to maintain that network, which is great that you've got people who are always going to be with you uh, throughout your career path. Now, what I would like to ask is, has um, becoming MSIPs Chartered opened any new avenues for you, any new doors? It has, definitely. Um as soon as I qualified, um, I, I shared my success on LinkedIn, as you do, because it's a, a good networking um, networking platform. Um, and I'd got my site set, set on a, a goal, at, you know, within my current organisation. There was somebody um, who was somebody at a group level um, that was due for retirement, and I knew he was due for retirement. So as a... <laughs> kind of a five-year strategy plan that you build for yourself you look at what you're going to do and obviously the three years of doing the M6 degree uh, was part of that strategy and then it was right let's have a look at myself take a step back is there going to be any opportunities presenting itself at my current organization or do I go out and look elsewhere 
So I was very fortunate that the opportunity arose at work. Um, but again, I had to be put through my paces. I had to apply for it. I had to go through an interview process. I had to do psychometric testing. And luckily, I succeeded um, internally. And I've just now been announced a head of procurement for the whole group. That's fantastic. So you, you've already started to hopefully feel that you've had a return on investment. With it, 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 it has. And even though I, I shared my success on LinkedIn, um, I put that I was open to recruiters. So the amount of recruitment agencies that were getting in touch um, as soon as I'd got my MSIPs was quite a lot. Um, but obviously, I was trying to settle down to say, right, what do I want to do? I don't want to... Re- you don't want to jump out of the fire into the front, you know, out of the frying pan into the fire, do you? you? You you want to take stock of where you are and not go chasing different things that you don't really want. Yes, that makes sense. That that makes you've sense. had that reflection time yeah. as well to be able to stand back and analyse what's next for you and yeah. where do you want yeah. to take things. That's great. It's great to hear that it's it's certainly taken you in that direction that you wanted to and aspired to at the beginning of your of your studies. And on on that note, because it's a really positive note to ty- kind of um, work towards. Have you got any advice that you would give to other students who are currently with on on their own SIPs journey to keep them motivated? Yeah, keep yourself grounded. Don't don't allow yourself to run off just because you've got the M SIPs degree or or once you you know, once you're going through your study, um, trying to set yourself that strategy uh, of a five year, a three or five year plan of where you want to be and what you want to do. And I I think that once you get there, uh, once you analyze it where, you know, every step in that strategy, um, you can just take stock of it to make sure you're getting where you want to be. That, that's fantastic to hear. And I think that's something we can all reflect on when we're working in a procurement supply chain environment, that strategy is so important in the workplace, but having that in our own aspirations and our own career goals as well. Yeah. It's a skill set that we can utilise it in more than one way. So I just want to say a big thank you uh, for taking time to speak to me today, Michelle. Um, it's been great to find out how your journey's been laid out um, before you, where it's led you to today. And, and thanks for giving some great um, advice and feedback to, to studying members as well. I really hope they can benefit from knowing that that end goal's there, um, but that it leads on to greater things for them as well. And, and that's really helpful for anybody who's who's working towards their studies at the moment and is in the procurement supply chain environment. So just a big thank you today and thanks very much for your time. Thank you very much. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.